I'm, I'm, I'm not sure we can change anything, Eric. We can try. Okay, well, that's the thing. But my point is, I think we may be on this natural path to collapse or certain collapses in society. We may be on this natural path to high inflation coming soon. You know, we may be... We may, it, the reason I said the fourth turn, it's not because I believe it's going to happen, but the book's interesting because, I say more say, and history doesn't repeat, but it rhymes, right? There is a lot of similarity. Perhaps this is something we can't stop. I don't know. I don't know. What do you? What, what, what are you specifically worried about? All right. I'm worried about a universe where the chairs that are supposed to be reserved for smart people have no smart people sitting in them. Well, should we should probably... Rich, you want to come up here? <laughs> Are you referring to the people in government? Because we're there right now. Yeah. Not just government. And we definitely got the B team out there right now. Yeah, I'm not so sure that I'm so thrilled with our tech companies either. And I'm not so sure that I'm thrilled with our university departments. And I'm yeah. not so thrilled with our newspapers and our news agencies. Like, more or less, this is what's interesting. This is the abundance De of de information. Decentralization though. can be the, the not even, not, not, yeah, the catalyst the ca okay. across all of okay. those things. Well, maybe I'll throw some. I just feel like it's almost impossible to have the interesting conversations anymore. I don't even know how to do it, right? Well, so in part, my thought is, if you really wanted me to talk and say something that's going to piss off your audience that I find fascinating. It's how do you get a bunch of people who get decentralization to do something centralized? Right? That's hard. That's one of the reasons why I'm not totally maximalist in, in my orientation, right? At some level, you got a bunch of hard bitten people. We don't trust. Okay, I get it. You don't trust. Okay. You're going to have to trust. And you're going to have to do something centralized if you're going to do something that shows that this was what you guys said it was. Well, there's a, there's a different point here. We're decentralized with power, the platform, the protocol. Okay. You can get them t together to centralize to go and do something external for Bitcoin. Just don't make it Bitcoin. Like you can, you can if you wanted to create the, you know, for example, uh, libertarians who are anti-politics, I, I always find that's a bit of a problem. I think if you want to attack... You're not a libertarian. I'm not. I'm... I love the ideas do you, theoretically. Do you like hanging out with libertarians? I do like hanging so out with them. I. I love them. Right? I, I think they, the picture they paint of the world is incredible. I yeah, actually, that's, that's the problem. It's, 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 if it were credible, I'd be more excited. It's incredible. Well, it, the problem is from whatever political position you're in, you believe your story is credible and you believe others aren't credible. I was just down in El Salvador with a, 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 with a group of people. One of the girls from the U.S. was trying to sell me a Marxism. She thinks it's great. I was like, what? Marxism. Yeah, she's trying to sell me a Marxism. The point being is from... But she, she can sell Marxism. That's, that's, she you're, didn't, you, you have talent in she, sales. No, she didn't do a good job. But the point being is she hates capitalism, right? Whether you're left, whether you're right, whether you're a uh, libertarian anarchist, from where you are, you believe your picture of the world is right and everything else is nonsense. And what we haven't got is enough people trying to just, trying to see everyone else's version of the world. That's what we don't have. Everyone's like, this is my fucking, yeah, it's okay. selfish. Well, but, but we're getting back to it. Yeah. What do you think we need to do? Just tell us, when you say centralized, what do you mean? You mean we need to go political, attack the system with our money from, with, and change it? You've got a survival issue. I mean, uh, look, I, I bore myself on this topic, but this is the end game. We're watching the end game. We can't recognize that it's the end game because we're not at, you know, we're not in a shooting war with China at the moment. Yet. Okay. It's worth mentioning that Bitcoin is like firmly in the middle of US China relations. Mm -hmm. Firmly. Okay. We are in a situation in which we've got a dire economic problem, which is communism failed first. Capitalism appears not to be able to get the job done. We don't seem to be able to think much beyond communism versus capitalism. This is what's new, gentlemen. This is what's new. And we're still having old style conversations about what's new. Your circle, I feel like you want to tell us something 
And I'm like... No, I don't want to tell you anything because every time I say... I don't want to say anything like that. Because if I say, I'm Eric Weinstein and I believe X, Y, and Z. Oh, Eric Weinstein. Yeah, so, but I don't care about them. I care about these... That's tell, what I'm tell trying me. to say. What I'm trying to say is, I would like this to do something new beyond just be a new form of money. Well, If it doesn't want to do that, if it just wants to be a new form of money and it wants to make sure that some people can have a have hopes and dreams for their children and you can buy that heart operation you were hoping to get your spouse or who knows what great no arguments with it i happen to have a different question which is does it solve everything right that's really my question because if it solves everything i would know what i would want to go shopping for first what i would want to go shopping for is a return of sense making and a lineage level solution for human survival now people they aren't used to these things right they say like, like if you had a billion dollars what would you oh, i'd buy my my great aunt you know the house she'd always want okay that's great uh i would like to get off this planet and i would like to get off this planet with options because as we just saw under covid we're running one centralized experiment Mm -hmm. And that one centralized experiment is too dangerous with this many stupid people in positions of leadership. And right now, whatever we're selecting for in terms of leadership, we used to have a lot of brutal people on the world stage who are very talented. And we have fewer brutal people on the world stage. And way less talent. And <laughs> way less talent, right? And so this idea of making everything dumber We've had 75 years of peace that are coming due. We are out of shape. We have no idea what, it, what enforced 75 years of peace with an, a thermonuclear planet. And that this is coming to an end, right? So my feeling is we've had what I've called the great nap. We've had 75 years to get out of shape, to, to forget what it means to be a country, why we have centralized institutions. Nobody can even remember why we have journalists because they used to put their lives on the line to get the story and, and follow certain sorts of codes. Uh, now they seem to be, you know, a pox. Uh, uh, but on you know why that is. Again, that comes down to the money. They don't have the money anymore. I mean, it's part, yeah, the internet changed things. It changed the economics of journalism. You know, and the the economics of uh, entertainment and eyeballs completely changed. It's become about clicks. We know that. E, but it's not about clicks. Nothing sells journalism like Jeffrey Epstein stories. And then you find people say, "Oh, people aren't interested in Jeffrey Epstein stories." Are you kidding <laughs> yeah, me? Yeah, well, there's random bits of great journalism. You know, they're wrong. No, 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 but I'm trying to make it. Okay. I am failing. I desperately want to be having a different conversation. I don't know what the conversation is you want to have. I, let's start from a different perspective. Okay. 